welcome back hope you are all doing well i am maunika in the other session of our earth from class 9 social studies we've learned that the earth as a large interconnected system the rocks soil minerals water air sunshine forests animals and humans interact with each other and change each other constantly our universe the sun and the earth earth as a planetary body let us see more about the topic our earth from class 10 social studies keywords grid on a globe a network of latitudes and longitudes is drawn this is called a grid gondwana land the supercontinent of pangaea broke up to laurasia and gondwana time zones the world is divided into 24 time zones starting from the greenwich meridian going east and west the difference between the one time zone and the next is 1 hour standard time countries choose the time along one of the meridians that pass through their territory and follow the time of that meridian for the whole country learning outcomes you will be able to know the movements of the earth's crust the earth's grid system latitudes longitudes longitudes and the question of the time movements of the earth's crust continents have moved collided merged and then been torn apart again mountains have risen and been raised to the ground oceans have formed and dried up valleys have been carved and so on during the course of earth's eventful history In early 20th century a German meteorologist and geophysicist Alfred Wegener introduced the theory of continental drift to describe and partially explain the present arrangement of continents and ocean basins. he postulated a massive supercontinent which is called pangaea greek for whole land as having existed 220 million years ago and then breaking apart into several large sections he suggested that these sections moved away from each other over millions of years some continents collide with others they are still moving around pangaea is the hypothetical continent from which present continents originated by the drift of mesozoic era to the present
Wegener hypothesized that the supercontinent of Pangaea broke up to the form. Laurasia or Angara land present North America, Greenland and all Eurasia north of the Indian subcontinent and Gondwana land America, Africa, Madagascar. India, Arabia, Malaysia, East Indies, Australia and Antarctica. These two blocks were separated by a long shallow inland sea called Tetis Sea. It took millions of years for the continents to reach the present shapes and positions on the globe. The Earth's grid system. So far, we have read about the process of formation of the Earth and its internal structure. Now, we will see how it is shown on the maps and globes. Globe is a three dimensional sphere and a map is two dimensional. A globe represents the whole earth whereas a map may represent the whole earth or just a part of it. Latitudes and longitudes are imaginary lines that run on a globe or a map. A globe, a network of latitudes and longitudes is drawn. This is called the grid. With the help of the grid, we can locate places and learn much about them. Now let us understand latitudes and longitudes. Latitudes are horizontal lines that measure the distance north to south of the equator. The horizontal circle that goes around the globe exactly in the middle at an equal distance from the north and south poles is called the equator. It divides the earth into two equal parts as northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. This is a circle designated as 0 degrees latitude. Angles are designated in geometry, latitudes are expressed in degrees. Minutes and seconds. From the equator going towards the poles are a series of parallel circles. Each circle is called a latitude. Latitude comes to us from the Latin word latitudo meaning width. Latitude values range from 0 degrees to 90 degrees north and 90 degrees south. There is no latitudes less than 0 degrees nor greater than 90 degrees. Every latitude must be designated with the direction N for north or S for south. For the equator, there is no north or south designation. The equator is the largest among all the latitudes. All other latitudes 
on either side gradually become smaller towards the poles. That half of earth between the equator and north pole is called the northern hemisphere. Hemi means half and hemisphere means half a sphere. The half that is between the equator and the south pole is called the southern hemisphere. Counting from one pole to the other, there are 180 latitudes. Some important latitudes are equator, tropic of cancer, tropic of Capricorn, Arctic circle, Antarctic circle, Longitudes are vertical lines that measure east or west of the meridian. Latin gives us the word longitudo meaning length from which we get longitude. Longitudes are not full circles. They are semicircles connecting pole to pole. Every longitude cut across every latitude. The longitude that passes through the astronomical observatory at Greenwich, England is called the zero degree meridian, prime meridian or Greenwich meridian. There are 360 longitudes. We organize the main longitudes into two groups. Zero degrees to 180 degrees going east which are the east longitudes and zero degrees to 180 degrees going west which are the west longitudes. Each degree of longitude just like a latitude can also be divided into minutes and seconds. The longitude directly opposite to 0 degrees longitude is called the anti-meridian the east longitude form the eastern hemisphere and the west longitude form the western hemisphere. Longitudes and the question of time. It takes 4 minutes for the sun's position to move 1 degree of longitude. This means that the time is different for each degree of longitude. Example, when the sun is directly overhead at 10 degrees east longitude, the local time is 12 noon. It is 11.56 am at 9 degrees east and 12.04 pm at 11 degrees east. So, to avoid the confusion, the world is divided into 24 time zones starting from the Greenwich Meridian going east and west. The width of each time zone is 15 degrees longitude. This means that the difference between one time zone and the next is 1 hour. As you go east from the Greenwich Meridian, you add time. 
As you go west to the Greenwich Meridian, you subtract time. Let us understand this with one example. When it is noon on Monday at 0 degrees longitude. It is midnight at the opposite longitude. Just to the west of 180 degrees, Tuesday is just beginning, while to its east, Monday is just ending. Some countries would have more than one time zone. India would have two hour time zones. That means the time between the western and eastern parts of India would be different by one hour. In such situation, some countries choose the time along one of the meridians that pass through their territory and follow the time of that meridian for the whole country. This time is called standard time. For India, it is an Indian standard time. The advantage of this is that wherever you are in India, it is the same time. In countries that span a large number of longitudes, keeping time is more complex. They may divide their country into more convenient time zones. Usually with one hour difference between one time zone and the next. Do you know? To avoid confusion of time from one place to other, 82 degrees 30 eastern longitude is taken as standard meridian of India and serves as Indian standard time. The exact difference between Greenwich and IST is plus 5 and a half hours. So, in this video, you have seen the movements of the Earth's crust, the Earth's grid system, latitudes, longitudes, longitudes and the question of time. All the best.